He's achieved it all in the men's game, and now the Swiss star has announced this week that he'll take a two-month break after the upcoming Indian Wells tournament next month. It's a move which will allow the former world number one to concentrate on his family and focus on the competitions he wants to play in. Things are going to be a bit more difficult this year than last year, just because I made a schedule according to my needs of me as a player and me as a, as a dad, you know. And that's where this year is maybe a bit of more a transition period. But, you know, if, if I do play amazing and I win some of the big, big tournaments, I obviously can return to world number one, but it's not as big of a priority as it was last year. Rafa obviously is not going to have that much of a chance, you know, in the next six months or so because he hasn't played for seven. So then you have Andy, Novak and myself, you know, and Novak's uh, the front runner. He's just won the Australian Open again and the World Tour Finals. So it seems like he's going to be world number one for some time, unless me or Andy are going to go on a tear. Federer has won the tournament here five times and he believes this competition is an important one on the ATP Tour. I really enjoy this tournament a lot, you know. I've played here a lot of times and I've always had a good feeling about it, so um, I'm happy it's this time of the year again, you know. Um, I've been practicing well, it's always the start of the season, so all the players I think are pretty upbeat about, uh, about playing again, about their chances. Uh, I haven't overplayed this year in any way at all, so I'm I'm really looking forward to this as a big priority for me in, in, during the year. I think it's big, you know, and it's made the region become stronger. Like the tournament in Doha, obviously, has also been very important for the tour. And so has then also been the, I think, the World Tour Finals for the women's game in Qatar, Abu Dhabi exhibition. I mean, it's really helped this region a lot, you know, and then obviously the Dubai Duty Free Tournament has been the driving force behind it all. Federer does, of course, come into the 2013 Dubai Duty Free Tournament as the reigning champion but the world number two believes this year will be tough to defend. Like any other year, I think I have a chance, uh, but besides many other players as well, I think uh, it's always a, a tough draw. Um, there's always a bunch of top 10 players uh, that make you know, life difficult. And then in the early rounds, you play either guys you don't know that well, or because it's an early round, you don't know where your game's at quite yet. And that's where you have to find a feel for it. And that's why this tournament is really difficult to win. Um, but I've been successful, and that gives me confidence again for this year. So Federer is in a confident mood, and who would bet against him winning once again here in Dubai?